21 years ago, three small men It's that time again where there's news about hope for the northern white rhinos. Although the species diverged from each other a million years ago, evidence now shows that the two species were breeding up to 14,000 years ago. This would make it far easier to create an IVF hybrid between the two species, although scientists consider this a last resort to saving some of the northern white rhino genes. In other news, our ozone layer is healing. Unfortunately, large holes were discovered by scientists in the 1980s, and following the international cooperation afterwards, the Montreal Treaty was signed, which banned the use of chlorofluorocarbons, or CFCs, in 180 countries. It seems to be now well on its way to be healed, and hopefully the Northern Hemisphere will be by the 2030s, and the Antarctic skies be fully fixed by the 2060s. However, recent levels of CFCs in the atmosphere has terrifyingly risen, very slightly, and this seems to be coming from the unregulated PVC and paint stripping products from China. Some pretty cool information about the giant elephant birds was published this week, with it turning out that these animals, which lived in Madagascar until about 500 years ago, actually had very poor eyesight and were probably nocturnal. It had been previously assumed that these birds would have had similar lifestyles to their ostrich and emu relatives, being active in the day and with good eyesight, but through examination of casts of these animals' brains, it was found that they lived in a more comparable way to another relative, the kiwi, strolling through the forests and grasslands of Madagascar in the dark. In other dinosaur news, a study published in Nature has demonstrated that the coloured eggs of birds are not, as thought before, a uniquely avian feature that evolved independently on multiple occasions in the bird family tree, but one that appeared millions of years ago in non-avian theropods, and was subsequently inherited by the avian lineage. Researchers detected that the presence of two pigments responsible for coloration in modern eggs in the fossilised eggshells of Humaniraptorans, suggesting that the characteristic had a single origin within Theropoda, and that many non-avian dinosaurs were building nests filled with coloured eggs too. And to finish off, we've got even more colourful dinosaurs, with a new article that describes an extraordinary specimen of the Cretaceous bird Confucius Ornus. This specimen has preserved small spots of melanin on the wings, crest and throat of the ancient bird, allowing researchers to determine that this animal likely had a colour pattern that helped with camouflage, or possibly display. Due to the way that the fossil was preserved, it can't be said for certain what colours the spots were in life, but the discovery shows us that complex feather patterning was already present near the beginning of bird evolution. That's it for this week, thank you very much for listening, and similar to the announcement last week, just a lot shorter, we now have a Benji Thomas subreddit, which will be in the description, so go check that out. Anyway, if you haven't already and would like to learn more about the wonderful life around you, feel free to subscribe, and if you have, we'll see you on Sunday.